Most of the locals of Windhelm have a very obvious disliking towards the Argonians and Dark Elves that live within their city, sometimes even claiming that they are Imperial spies. However, is it possible that that specific accusation is correct, to an extent? Because I have compiled some evidence that suggests so, and that is what today's video is about. Is it possible that there is an Imperial spy chain within Windhelm that we do not know about? For this case, we have two primary suspects, and the first one is Embraeus Rendar, the owner of the new Genesis Corner Club in the Grey Quarter. One thing we know for certain about Embraeus is that he has a strong disliking towards Nords. Understandably so, however his disliking is so strong that he says he doesn't even care at all about the murders that are happening in Windhelm and says that he won't care until it happens to a Dunmar. I was thinking that this could mean he also wants the city to be in fear while in a civil war. However, that is just simply speculation, so I will not use that as hard evidence. However, I did think I should mention my opinion on that. He'll also talk to Severius about how he doesn't like him working for Nords, saying that he is a Dunmer pet and slave without realising it. He'll even show an obvious disgust towards the Dragonborn, if the Dragonborn is a Nord. However, is a lot more welcoming if the Dragonborn is a Dunmer. Another thing we know for certain about Embraeus is that he wants the Imperials to win the Civil War, because if the Imperials do win the Civil War and retake Windhelm, he will rejoice, saying that his people no longer have to deal with the bigotry of the Stormcloaks. However, out of all of this, I feel like that the strongest, or at least one of the strongest pieces of evidence we have, is that on the top floor of the New Genesis Corner Club, there is a set of Imperial Legion armour, plus an Imperial shield and sword, and an Empire banner. So this once again proves that he is siding with the Empire. This could be used as evidence that he is a spy. However, then again... This could mean one of many things. It could also mean that he is a former legionnaire. And I think the part of this piece of evidence that doesn't quite make sense is that the armour is heavy armour, because spies and scouts tend to wear light armour. However, I still feel like that this is a strong point, that Andreas is supporting the Empire in secret. The next primary suspect that we have the most evidence on is the primary suspect, because we believe this man to be the head of the entire operation. And this man, we believe, is Brunwolf Freewinter. Not who you were expecting? Well, let me explain. Brunwolf is one of the few Nords in Windhelm that is compassionate towards the Argonians and Dark Elves. In fact, we could probably all agree that he tries to represent the Dark Elves and Argonians to try and end the segregation in Windhelm. Sure, but how does this prove that he is a spy, you might be asking, and you would be right in saying that it doesn't. However, another thing we know is that if the Imperials win the Civil War, then he becomes the Jarl of Windhelm. And for this to have happened, there would have had to be some sort of agreement between the Imperials and Brunwulf. They wouldn't let Brunwulf become the Jarl just because he was more lenient towards them than Ulfric. No, he would have had to been in a very important position for them to begin with in order for them to give him such power. Still not convinced? Well, here's something that you might not know. If the Dragonborn ends up in a fight with the guards, most civilians would run away, yes? But no, not Brunwulf. Brunwulf will come to the aid of the Dragonborn and help him fight against the guards. I very much doubt that this is a glitch of some sort, or just some easter egg. I very much believe that this was implemented into the game to tell us something that we can't find out by playing the game. So that is all the evidence we have on the ringleader, Brunwulf, as well as who we believe to be his second in command, Andreas. However, in their specific groups of people, these two men are quite influential. 
Brynwulf is the man who technically represents the Argonians and Dark Elves, and Andreas is the owner of the tavern in the Grey Quarter, where all the Dark Elves go to meet up and discuss things. And not to mention that most of the Dark Elves share this view with these two. So we only have evidence on the ringleader and his second in command, but we very much believe that there are more. And we need you on this investigation, fellow Stormcloak agent. And that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.